Hey guys, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can lock shapes in your Excel dashboards. Now, the reason you'd want to do this is because currently, if I don't have anything locked here, you'll see that the user can come in here and they can drag and move this thing around. And we don't want them to be able to do that in our dashboards. We want it to be locked. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually select the area that we want to lock. So if we had a header like this, if I selected a uh, range of cells, an area um, behind where we have the buttons inserted and the shapes inserted, if we right clicked and we went to format cells, you can see that currently the protection is set to lock, but they're not locking and the user is still able to, to move that. So what we're going to do though is we're going to head over now because we know that it is set to be locked, we need to protect this sheet. So if we go over to the review tab and we say protect sheet, and you'll see that we have a bunch of different options that we allow all users of this worksheet to do. So if we select lock cells and we show that that is going to be a active trigger, then we know that when we go to uh, set and protect the sheet that it will be now locked for the region that we have selected. So if we hit OK here, and now we have this region selected, we're going to be able to do this. So if we go and we try and move this now. If I right click, you'll see that I'm not able to right click. I'm not even able to, to do a left click either to try and drag this out, but you'll see that this works fine now. So you'll see that my buttons are working fine and you're not able to actually move or drag that anywhere. So that's all for this video. I wanted to show you just a quick one. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.